Good afternoon, everyone. This is First Selectman Matt Knickerbocker, and I'm joined today by Tom Galliford, our Emergency Operations Director, and Dr. Christine Carver, Superintendent of Schools. And we have some important information related to the town's effort to prevent the spread of the no novel coronavirus, which is causing COVID-19. And I'll first turn this over to Tom Galliford for some updates. Tom? Thanks, Matt. So on um, behalf of the uh, Bethel Health Department, who's working around the clock with their extra staff, on uh, getting some information sharing and preparation efforts with Connecticut Department of Public Health. As you're aware, there's 26 cases confirmed in Connecticut at this time in only 16 in Fairfield County. Um, we're going on the DPH and CDC guidelines as far as uh, practicing social distancing. Um, we're in contact with the state of Connecticut uh, Department of Emergency Management as well and having conference calls with them uh, periodically on our preparation e efforts. Uh, the fire and EMS departments and the Bethel Police Department have taken steps to minimize any exposure to uh, persons that are ill. And you can go to their uh, websites and Facebook pages and we'll update the information on some of their efforts as well on that. Thank you, Tom. One thing I'd like to stress to all our folks at home is that uh, all of us in municipal government around the state are working closely with state and federal officials watching the latest information literally on a around-the-clock basis, including over the weekend. Uh, with that in mind, we're watching uh, data come from Europe, particularly from Italy and from Spain, and we're looking at situations also in other states where on our nation where uh, some measures have been taken, some aggressively, some not so much, but this is providing very valuable data on how we should prepare now to prevent the spread of this dangerous virus in our own community. And I want to stress that we have no cases in Bethel right now, but we're working very hard to keep it that way. With that in mind, I have to, I'm going to announce that effective tomorrow morning, Tuesday the 17th of March, Town Hall will effectively be closed to the public. We are going to sharply restrict access to Town Hall offices with the exception of the tax collector's office. If you've been in that office, you know that there's already a glass barrier that protects staff as well as the public. Um, and other offices will be open, but on a by appointment basis only. And this is very critically important. If you need to access town services, we encourage you to use the online services, call ahead to the department, discuss your needs with the department staff. They will be there, they will be on duty but we want to limit uh, contact with the public as much as possible. For any appointments that must be scheduled, in other words, for things that cannot be done by fax or by email or by regular mail, we encourage you to make an appointment, discuss with the department head, and they will tell you when they can make time for you to come in and minimize contact. And very, very importantly, if you are uh, not feeling well, if you are experiencing any of the symptoms, of either flu or coronavirus, please do not come into this office. Please see your healthcare provider as quickly as possible. And now I'm gonna turn this over to Dr. Carver with some important information about our schools and school lunch programs. Dr. Carver. Thank you, Matt. Um, so yes, I, I love this opportunity to update you uh, on where we are stand with the schools. You probably already know that the governor has closed schools till March 31st, and at that point they'll reevaluate um, where we are with the idea as as our first selectman said is around social distancing trying to keep people apart to avoid the spread of the virus i know that's incredibly hard for some families that work two jobs or uh, or both parents work um, uh, but at this point we really don't have a choice um, i do want to let you know too and i've sent this in emails to my uh, parents that we are going to start our feeding program starting wednesday it, it is not restricted to students who qualify for free and reduced lunch, so it's open to any student enrolled in the Bethel Public Schools and all of their siblings. So even younger children um, are able to participate in that program. I also want to, and that's uh, every, Monday through Friday from 10 to 12 at Berry School in the parking lot. Um, I also want to let you know that we will be instituting our distance learning program. Um, we did get some revised guidance from the state with this evolving situation. They're being much more flexible in terms of how we can provide continuity of services and education. I sent an email out today about that. We hope to have it up and running on Monday. 
Um, and I know some of you have asked me, uh, because your children did not bring their Chromebooks home, um, we are gonna have a Chromebook deployment plan. Um, we're likely gonna be de uh, deploying them this Friday. So really follow the instructions in my letter very carefully. If you need a Chromebook for your family to enable to, to implement the district learning plan, um, there's a form linked in my letter. Oh, I think that's it for now. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Carver. Let me close by saying this. We know that these measures are disruptive and inconvenient. However, the data that we are seeing from other states and from other nations indicates that inconvenience now can prevent really catastrophic conditions in the not too distant future, and we're working very hard to prevent that from occurring. We will update this information as often as possible, and by working together as a community, we can pull each other through this. Thank you very much. Please refer to the town website and the Bethel Public Schools website for further info, and we'll see you again next time. Again, we'll pass this along as often as necessary, and have a good evening, everyone.